Right Away with Craig Murray. For more information, visit cmurray.com. You need to start writing now. I mean now. Not soon, not eventually, not when you find you have time. You have to write now. There's an immediacy that's required in writing. An immediacy because the easiest thing in the world to do is not write. We can come up with excuses and reasons and a million other things that'll stop us from writing. We can say to ourselves that we're thinking about it or planning it or we're just looking for that perfect time to make an overly complicated and convoluted wall of string-connected post-it notes for a story idea that may never come to fruition. Now, this may work if you have a few hundred stories and a few novels under your belt already. However, for pretty much everyone else, you don't. So the need is just start writing. I couldn't tell you the number of writers or want-to-be writers that never write a word. They think about it, they'll tell you about it, they'll plan it, but they never write it. Get writing. So maybe you don't have that million-dollar idea, the concept's all mapped out, it'll make you an immediate bestseller. Doesn't matter. Just write something now. Decide that you're going to spend an hour a day actually writing. I don't care how many hours a day you spend thinking about writing, that's up to you and your free time you have. But I want you to do is make a solemn vow you're going to be typing for an hour a day. You're not going to make excuses. You're going to make a trade. Instead of surfing the net for an hour, watching some idiot TV show for an hour, going on social media and rotting your brain for an hour, you're going to trade that time for writing for one hour. I don't care if you're tired. I don't care if you've had a long day. I don't care that your feet hurt. I care that you're writing. But Craig, you cry out, I don't know what to write on. I don't have the perfect idea. I don't care. Write something stupid. I know that sounds insane, but let me tell you why. If you know in the back of your head you have an unformed or partly formed story, something serious, engaging, intelligent, whatever, but you can't seem to find the right words now, fine. Don't write those words. You have writer's block. It's just not coming today. You you will, but not now, now, soon. Just, Just wait. No, I don't care. You have to write now. So write something stupid. Just start writing. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to be good. You're not going to show it to anyone. This is just your get the juices flowing writing. You can start with something absolutely preposterous. Mr. Rabbit put on his top hat and jacket and walked out onto the busy street. The cars and buses whooshed past as he strode forcefully through the crowds of people on their way to work. Be gone, peasants, he yelled to no one in particular. He swung his walking stick back and forth to beat the great unwashed masses out of his way. I'm a very important rabbit, don't you know? I have many things to do and places to be. So this makes no sense. I have no idea where I'm going with it. In fact, I have a pretty good idea I'm going nowhere with it. It doesn't matter. I wrote. I put pen to paper. I got things going. This immediacy, this idea of just getting going is why I thought of the name of these as right away. A bit of a pun as it's both right and right. That was intentional. It's also to give meaning to this thing that we do. If you want to be a writer, then you have to write. Okay, so you're nodding in agreement. You're saying, of course, Craig, writers write. What are you writing? Are you writing every day? You need to be. Now, here's the thing. You'll eventually get to the point where you don't need to write every single day. You may want to, but when you're more secure in yourself as a writer, in your abilities, your planning, your story creation, then you'll spend more time planning. What you may find is when you do sit down to write, you are so ready to write. You're almost bursting at the seams. And you sit down and fire out two or three or four thousand words without taking a break. You look up and think, oh my God, where's the time gone? Oh my God, look at the word count. And you'll be happy. You'll not get to that point unless you're writing now. A good friend of mine that I've been fortunate and proud to instruct in writing fiction, writing maybe a couple hundred words a day. The more she wrote, that rocketed skyward to a few hundred words an hour. She stuck with it. She wrote every day. She was frustrated. She was angry with herself. All the absolutely normal things writers do. But her word count kept going up. From a few hundred words an hour to writing 5,000 words a day. It crept up on her. She didn't even realize it at first. We'd be emailing or talking on the phone and she'll tell me she sat down, her plan complete, her strategy ready. Next thing she knew, time shot by, 5,000 words on paper. 
That's how it goes. But you have to start writing now. You have to be writing every day. Stop stalling. Stop making excuses. Stop making total loads of bull hockey reasons why you're not writing today. You can do this. You will do this. You're going to write your story. Not just this one. Lots of them. You're going to go from wanting to be a writer, dreaming about being a writer, to being a writer. You're going to amaze yourself, frustrate yourself, laugh at yourself, cry at yourself, the whole enchilada. But you're going to do it. You probably need help, and I'm here to help. Writing is a very lonely and isolating experience. It's not like playing a video game where you're interacting with other people online or even just the characters in the game. It certainly is not like a sport or a club where there's other players and other members you interact with. 90% of reading is just you and your own mind creating these fantastic worlds. So you'll need to find like-minded individuals. You absolutely need to find critics, honest and helpful critics. You can't rely on family and friends to make you a better writer. Two reasons for this. Both of them are horrible. When you show your writing to these people, they'll react one of two ways. The terrible way is they'll be unsupportive, hypercritical, absolutely no help, and they'll leave you feeling depressed and unworthy and not wanting to carry on. The even worse way is they'll be far too praising. You can write absolute rubbish and they'll say, Oh, that's nice, dear. That's very good. You're very talented. The reason that's even worse is because you won't learn from it and you'll probably maintain some really terrible habits that you've picked up. There doesn't seem to be a happy medium normally, so you may need help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I tell everybody this, and now I'll tell you. Writing is easy. Good writing is hard. But you can do it, and you will do it, even if it takes a little help.